Hi, welcome to this video where I'm going to do a quick introduction to all the tapping points that we use in an EFT session. So we begin by massaging into the collarbone. This uh, spot can feel a little sore, tender. This fleshy spot is called the emotional well because we store all our emotions here. And so we tune at the beginning of an EFT session, we tune into our current issue, challenge, or the emotion that's uh, present on the surface. And while tuning in, we just massage into this emotional well. And this is the only time that we do this, right in the beginning of the session, after which we, we move on to a tapping sequence of different meridian points. And um, there's really no way to get it wrong. So don't worry about memorizing this. It's just best that you familiarize yourself with these tapping points and the sequence and you will be guided by the practitioner in the session, but it's always just best to know them so that it's easier for you to be guided in the session. After the collarbone, we move on to the tapping sequence. So we begin at the top of the head. You're welcome to use one or both hands. Whatever feels best for you is right. And then you gently percussively tap all of these points. Then you switch over to the eyebrow point again. There's no, um, never worry about the amount of pressure that you're using. You just can't get it wrong. As long as you're just gently percussively tapping the way I'm showing you here. Don't do it so hard that you hurt yourself and not so light that you don't even feel it. And there's no need to count how many times, just a few seconds, five to seven taps is great before you move on to the next point. And then next we move on to the, the side of the eye. And then we come to under the eye, also called the cheek. And you're, when you're guided, the practitioner will probably tell you, move to the cheek and then you can just do this. So again, as a reminder, feel free to use one or both hands, whatever feels best. Then we move on to under the nose. So now there's two ways of doing this. You see some practitioners doing this, some would do this. So whatever feels right for you. And then we move on to the chin point. Again, this or this way, both works. Doesn't matter if you're using two fingers or three because there's meridian points everywhere. And then we move on to the chest point. So we tap here. And then the next point is on the ribs, right here. I hope you can see the next one on the camera. The next one is the sides. So it's four inches below the armpit. So you can either do this or this, whatever feels comfortable. Either way, you'll get the same result. And then we move on to the inside of the wrist. And the next point is where the edge of the nail is on the thumb, where the nail uh, meets the edge. Then we move on to the next forefinger on top where the nail meets the edge again and the next finger and now the only exception being the ring finger where we tap underneath and all of these uh, meridian points are connected to different organs in the body so the next thing is we move on to this the top of the finger and the last point would be the side of the hand also referred to as the karate chop. So certain practitioners also use that as a term. So this was the entire tapping sequence. So if you're working with me in an EFT session, I always guide you through these points, but it's best that you use this video to familiarize yourself. So if you have your eyes closed and I'm guiding you to the next point, you know exactly which one to tap on. So just to show it to you quickly again, we start at the top of the head, then we go on to the eyebrow, and then we go to the side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, on the chin, the chest, the ribs right here. I hope you can see this. And the sides, either this way or this way, as I said. And then you have inside of the wrist, where the nail meets the edge, the thumb, the forefinger, the middle finger. The exception, remember how I said it's the only exception, the ring finger is underneath in the top of the last finger and then the side. I hope this video was helpful and
and I can't wait to share more of the magic of EFT tapping with you.